Hey guys, it's Ashley and I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to use the preschool news editable templates. Um, when you first download, you can open up your folder. There is a PDF inside with the credits and also how to use these templates. So if you ever need a quick reference, this is how to do it. It's really not that complicated, so I'll just show you a few steps. When you open up your Word document, you'll need to click Enable Editing. And I like to view mine in one page. So you can click View and One Page if that's your preferred way. Since we're coming up on September, I'll show you how to edit this template. This is our September back to school template. Everything on this page is editable. You can change the colors, you can change the fonts, and probably most importantly, you can edit the calendar. One thing that has been a little bit tricky is editing the calendar. And I'll show you a quick demo on how to do that. When you go to edit, you will see that each event is in its own box. So it's likely that you won't have events every single day. So the first thing I would do is delete the ones that you don't need. These go from Monday to Friday, um, and the box for the dates is not editable, so it is a five-day box. All of the dates are going to be together um, in one long text box. So one way to do that would be to highlight the date, backspace, and type the next date. Sometimes you'll run into a double digit number that kind of moves all of your other numbers over as you just saw the 10 did. So if you have that happen, all you need to do is go right in front of the number and hit backspace one time or two times to align your numbers to the correct position. You can also type the entire row and then just click in between the numbers backspace to align. Oops, I went too far on that one, so I'll just add another space here. These can be saved all in one file, or you can separate them out into your own files. Um, you can change the colors, to match your school colors, um, the templates that we have on here match the background colors for the theme, but you can definitely change any of those, especially if you have you know, a special school color. Also, if you are printing on a black and white printer, you can change these to fit your black and white style just by editing the text. And if you'd like to edit the picture, all you need to do is click on the background in any spot, go to picture format, color, and pick the first box, which is a grayscale. So there you have it. I hope that that helps you use these in a more efficient way and that you love your preschool newspaper. I think it's a great way to communicate with parents. These can be distributed um, by a PDF if you're emailing parents. You can also 
you know, print as many as you want and send them home with the kids. Thanks. Bye.